What is up guys, my name is Cam Jack and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, in this channel I'll be talking about quite a few things, quite a few things that I enjoy and that may help students just like me. Uh, so one of the things that I'll be talking about is dropshipping, I'm going to be talking about Forex, it's basically all around how to make money online while still being a student. I'll be talking about things such as um, Instagram page flipping, how to build an Instagram, um, Facebook advertisement, and all of those nice things. Um, I'll also be talking about WordPress and WordPress websites and all the nitty gritty stuff that's in there and plugins and that sort of stuff. Um, so if you feel like you're learning stuff and you want me to cover other things within these, um, within these things that I'm going to be talking about, just let me know. That'd be awesome. Just leave a comment below and I'll definitely get to that. Also, please hit the like and subscribe button, um, and anyways, let's get into this video. So, in today's video, uh, the first thing I'll be focusing on is dropshipping. And what is dropshipping, and how can you dropship from where you are? Okay, so let's get into what dropshipping is. So, what dropshipping is, is you have found a new product that you think would do really well in your marketplace. So, within South Africa, or within America, or wherever you are based. So, what you do is, you find a wholesaler who is selling that specific product. You then create a website, using either Shopify or Dropstore, depending on your location. And you create a website, you find that product, and you promote that product on your website. That website, you can then put into either your Instagram page or your Facebook page, depending on what sort of marketing you want to do on it and then you sell it via those pages. You add a market price to it, so that's how you're making the profit, and basically what happens is someone buys a product from you, you then contact the wholesaler, giving them the shipping information that is needed to then take the product from the wholesaler all the way through to the purchaser of the product. So you're basically an intermediary, and you do not touch the product. All you're doing is making money and the awesome part about this is, this whole process can be automated through dropshipping, well, sorry, through Shopify and through Dropstore. So it's an awesome thing to look at if that's sort of what you're wanting to do, if you're wanting to build a website, and I would highly recommend it. I think a lot of people overseas in America have been very successful with it. Obviously in the South African market, it could be a little bit different. There could be a little more barriers in the way. Uh, I'm currently experimenting to see what would happen uh, with my own personal dropshipping store and obviously I will keep you guys updated and in the loop with that and I'll show you how I've done it and maybe you can take some tips and tricks from what I do with it um, but obviously time will tell and I want you guys to start doing this with me so that we can be in contact and you know see what happens. Okay cool so let's talk about what Shopify is. So, Shopify is an internet application that is based in America, so everything in there is priced in dollars, which is obviously unfortunate for us South Africans, especially where the dollar round is at the moment, but you know, it's something that you can deal with. So, the pricing for Shopify is it's 30 round, I mean $30 for the most basic form of the platform that you can use, uh, which is around 540 round. And I would recommend that you use this one as they start getting more and more expensive, which it's around $80 um, for the medium sort of level. And then for the most advanced Shopify level, it is around like 5,600 Rand, which is around $300. So if obviously the bigger that your company gets or the bigger that your brand gets that you have not put together, then maybe, you know, venture into using the larger sort of ones that give better analytics um, on what products are selling better. You obviously get to put more products onto your website, but I would say stick to about maybe five products when you're first starting out dropshipping. Um, as you know, you don't have to then depend on, uh, you know, what sort of is selling right at the moment. And you can mostly focus on, you know, your five products, try to keep them similar products or not similar, but uh, they complement one each other, one another. Um, that would be the best advice that I can give you. That's sort of what I'm focusing on. 
focusing on rather. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what the products are, as then everyone else could start probably doing the same thing. Um, but yeah, I definitely think that Shopify is something to learn. Okay, and then for you South Africans out there, like me, um, I would strongly advise that you use something called Dropstore. So what Dropstore is, it's basically the same as Shopify, but nowhere near as big as Shopify gives you huge amounts of options of what sort of products to look at and they give you a large catalog of what products you can choose and the only problem is most of their products are of AliExpress and it's quite expensive to them ship them from China to South Africa uh, so Dropstore being a South African based company is a lot you know nicer and um, what, what it does is it offers South African based products already so it's products that have already been shipped from China to South Africa or it's uh, products that have been manufactured in South Africa, which is awesome. Um, so what sort of companies are on there? There's obviously a few. There's something called Planet 54. That's probably the biggest one. It's got the biggest catalog of products that you can choose from. And it's countrywide, which is really awesome. That's helpful too. Um, and the pricing for drop stores is a lot cheaper because it is a South African based company. So the starting price every month for the most basic, which I think is five products if I'm not mistaken, is around 500 Rand a month. No, I lie, it's around 200 Rand a month. The medium level is at around 500 Rand a month, and then the most expensive is around, maybe around 3,000 Rand a month. Um, the only thing that obviously gets better is that the analytics are better once you get to the high products, I mean to the most expensive options that you can choose from. Uh, you also are able to then promote more products onto your website, um, but yeah, I definitely think drop shipping could be a way to go in the near future. And yeah, if you guys have found this video helpful, please leave a comment below and I'll try to reply to as many as I can. Thank you.